Hello, this is Sanad here, and welcome to Model Kit Mondays, the review show where I take a look at a different model kit every Monday. So naturally, to kick off this series of model kit reviews, we begin with the largest model kit I own, the MRX-009 Psycho Gundam Titans Prototype Transformable Mobile Armor High Grade 1 to 144th Scale. Naturally, this kit came out in 2004, and is the second largest high grade that I know of. The only one being larger is the Neo Zeong, being like 33 inches tall and has a box big enough you could stuff a person into. But we're going to go a little bit more subdued, so we're going to go with the Transforming Mobile Armor that's nearly a foot tall. The Psycho Gundam first appeared in Mobile Suit Zeta Gundam, but it has transcended that original appearance to be included in the Dynasty Warriors Gundam series, as well as appearing in Gundam Build Fighters and Gundam Build Fighters Tri, with Tri having one colored like King Jader, which the Gao Gygar fan inside my heart was just leaping for joy when he saw that. And you've had enough time to look at the box, let's look at the actual mobile armor. So here is the Psycho Gundam. Now the name has a double meaning, Psycho because former Osama was a little kooky, and also Psychic Communications. Kind of a neat little double meaning to the name Psycho Gundam. But the Psycho Gundam is tall, like I said, so how do we show that? Well, here is your standard 1 to 144th scale high grade, this being the Shining Gundam. So the Psycho Gundam is perfectly in scale with your standard high grade kits. So that's really neat. Plus, it's gigantic. It's bigger than some master grades. I want to say that it's about as tall as a perfect grade, but I don't actually own any perfect grades, so I can't really, you know, compare properly. But I can put it next to a recent Super Sentai mecha, like Tokyo, and you can see it stands pretty tall compared to Tokyo there. So it is about Sentai mecha height. That's kind of neat. So we'll take a look at the Psycho Gun. I'm beginning with its head. I love this head sculpt, mostly because it looks kind of like the RX-78, but at the same time, it takes on a more psychotic look. It looks really, really scary. Plus, they gave it a metallic sticker, so a foil sticker for the eyes, so that purple really shines. You also do have the ability to open up the mouth plate, so you can have the cockpit entry. And there is the other mouth molded underneath, which is really cool. It's a little detail they didn't have to do, but because it's there, I appreciate it. Another thing I appreciate is the rubbery V-Wing. Because of the transformation, this does move, but it is rubbery. I don't feel like I'm going to break this like I do with other high grades. Minor notes, though, the head does like to tip in a little bit like that when you're moving it, so you got to be careful. But overall, the arms were quite a fun assembly, and it actually has articulated fingers, which I don't have any high grades that have articulated fingerless like this. But with them being so big, I mean, it's not really hard to do. So it's kind of nice. As well as the shield assembly. This shield is massive. It's got layers of plastic as it does work into the mobile armor transformation. But also it is removable, so if you don't want the Psycho Gundam carrying this big old shield, you just wiggle it out of place. And instead of having a hole, they do give you a little tab that will slide in and fill in that slot. Much appreciated. Open pegs are really annoying. The three red satellite dish uh, design things in the middle are really good. And you have a black down here, except for these stickers, which are yellow. You got stickers on the bottom of the legs, and you have stickers up on the shoulders and on the chest. But most everything else is, you know, plastic color, which is really cool. Now, with the Psycho Gundam being as big as it is, it's got to not have a whole lot of articulation so it can be stable. Well, the answer may surprise you, it has more articulation than most high grades. First of all, we'll start off with the ball jointed neck, which is on a great ball joint plus a turn. It works really well, it even slides back and forth a little bit. So you do get some nice glaring down enemy poses, which is really cool. The shoulder joints have an outward shoulder swivel and a 360 shoulder on very, very tight polycaps, which is really, really nice. you got a bicep rotation here. You got an elbow bend, it's only a single joint, but that's fine. You have a wrist swivel, you have an inward and outward pivot in addition to extra hinge there. 
So that's pretty nice. And to finish it off, you have fingers that have a joint each. So they each have a ball joint, and then they have a, uh, a knuckle joint, which is pretty nice, plus a ball joint thumb. So you can get some really cool uh, poses there. More splayed options are available. Moving down to the torso, uh, no waist swivel, uh, and this is because of the mobile armor transformation. The legs do move out, these panels even move, so there's no restriction there forward. There's a little restriction back, but you're not going to get any poses where it'll actually stay like that. You have a knee, that's a single knee, um, but it does do a nice 90 degree, plus a ball jointed ankle. So this Psycho Gundam can get in quite a lot of poses, especially when you get some of the wide-legged stances going. Now, posing it with the shield can be a little tricky, naturally, because the shield is super heavy. But you can get some good poses going with just the Psycho Gundam. Like I said, if you want a balancing challenge, plug the shield on when trying to do a wide-legged stance. And that can be all kinds of fun, especially when I can't get the thing to plug in. There you go. So now it's a little bit more unstable because of that giant chunk of plastic. But overall, posability is fantastic, especially for something released over 10 years ago. So now we move on to the final function of the Psycho Gundam, which is its mobile armor transformation. Now I'm not going to show this on camera because it is very complicated. A lot of pieces moving, a lot of pieces being in specific positions just to make it work. So I'll cut away and come back to it. So... Without further ado, let's take a look at the mobile armor mode. The mobile armor mode is quite nice. It's a very compact mode. It's smaller than Psycho Gundam itself in its you know Gundam mode. But I gotta say that this is one of those modes that makes me feel impressed with my building skills because this is the reason why the set requires screws. It comes with screws, of course, but he had to install screws in his chest just to make sure that this joint system works. And it's quite impressive how they got this designed. Everything works cleanly, it transforms smoothly. The trickiest part are the legs, because they can pack six ways. But overall, it produces a nice, nice representation of the mobile armor mode. And it makes me quite impressed with what it does. Now, unfortunately, it does leave behind these two uh, cap pieces for the legs, where the shield parts plug in. So you do... You are left behind with two small pieces, which is unfortunate. But the mobile armor mode is quite nice, and I really appreciate the fact that this thing transforms in addition to being a giant high-grade kit. Really got to give credit to the designers here. They did a good job. Overall, high-grade Psycho Gundam is quite fantastic. Despite being so big and so dense, this figure poses beautifully. It can pull off a wide variety of poses without ever feeling unstable. It actually transforms into its mobile armor mode. This is a highlight of the high grade line. It is certainly one of the best Gunpla I've ever built or seen. And I'm really impressed with it. And I'm so glad to have the Psycho Gundam in my collection. And I can definitely recommend it. Now, I would not recommend it as a first time Gunpla build, though you should have a little bit of experience before tackling this guy. There are some complicated parts like his screw system, for example. Uh, having to get all that put together. Plus, it does take a lot of time to, to to build him, as he is quite large. But I can definitely recommend him, and he's going for about 60 bucks on Amazon currently. That's where I got mine. And I can definitely recommend the high-grade Universal Century 1 to 144 scale Transforming Mobile Armor Psycho Gundam. So stay tuned for next week's Model Kit Monday, where we'll be taking a look at another kit. And always be sure to check out the Sandout 12 YouTube channel as we we have three videos going up each week. Model Kit Monday on Monday, Sound Out's Toy Chest on Thursday, and the Sound Out Review on Saturday. So be sure to check that out, and also subscribe if you want to see more videos. There will be more Gunpla in the future. Also be sure to check out HeroTaku.com for all your Gundam news, and also check out other reviews from Visible Ninja, Wheelchair 21, and Darkon 633. They also do Gunpla, so if you are a fan of the Gundam series, if you like building Gunpla, be sure to check out their reviews. I've only reviewed one other Gunpla kit, and that's the Shining Gundam, and I did that years ago. I didn't really know how to build Gunpla, so that might be interesting to go and check out. But, Tonics and Sound saying, goodbye.